Kitty cat, kitty cat, where have you been? I've been to Washington, D.C., and guess what I've seen? Kitty Cat's Tour of Washington, D.C. Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat, where have you been? I've been to Washington, D.C., and guess what I've seen? Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat, where have you been? I've been to Washington, D.C., and guess what I've seen? The city is full of great places to roam. I begin at the White House, the President's home. Inside the West Wing, decisions are made. The President works there with help from top aides. The Grand Oval Office is named for its shape. It's the President's office where meetings take place. In the National Portrait Gallery's hall, great American heroes look down from the walls. If you like secret agents and making up coats, the International Spy Museum is the place to go. The United States Congress is on Capitol Hill. The people who work there make laws and pass bills. The Library of Congress is well worth a look. It's the world's biggest library with millions of books. In the National Mall, you can stroll, jog, or ride. A long, cool, reflecting pool runs down the west side. There's American history, nature, and art in museums and galleries right by the park. The Airspace Museum is fun to explore. I saw all sorts of aircrafts and spaceships galore. There's the Museum of American History, too, where the Star-Spangled Banner is proudly on view. The very first president's courage won fame. The Washington Monuments honor his name. By the wide tidal basin, the cherry trees bloom. If you visit in springtime, you'll smell their perfume. Paddle boats on the basin will help you see more. The Jefferson Memorial's right by the shore. I cruised the Potomac and stopped off to see Theodore Roosevelt Island, where wild deer roam free. At Arlington Cemetery, they were changing the guard. It's a place to remember brave troops who fought hard. At the National Cathedral, the stained glass is cool. On the special space window, there's rock from the moon. Martin Luther King Jr. thought folks should be free. His Stone of Hope statues, a sight you must see. The Lincoln Memorial statue stands tall. The president's speeches are carved on the wall. There were 36 states back in Abe Lincoln's day. That's why 36 columns surround him today. Well, Washington sounds like a great place to me. You're sure to have fun if you visit D.C.